What's good people, Eskimo Cold, EskimoColdBeats.com This is more of a general type of video It's not really specific to music but I will touch on music as we go through it And it's what is success and how do you get to success First you've got to define what success is Because success to me is completely different to what is success to you, to him and to her do you know what I mean? Then, you've got to work out what it is that's going to get you to success. What is it that you love to do? Because I'm telling you now, if you think, so, you, you don't just go for whatever's got the most money in it, because I promise you, you'll hit a platform and that's it. Jobs, getting a job, ain't going to work for you. And I know, obviously... I've had jobs, you know, I've got a little part-time where I'll just just do a favour for my boss because he's technically self-employed and he needs people. But you can only, you can't get further than the boss. And the boss controls the direction of where that's going. Even if it's a growing company, you can't get bigger than the company. I think that the whole system is fucked up. Everything needs to be scrapped and start again like if everybody just did what they'd love and was successful with that and just stuck to that the world would balance out because the way i see it is we would still eat because farmers love to farm if anything the food would be better all the things that we the essential jobs are jobs that people love to do so they'd still be doing those things and what we would lose is all the irrelevant bullshit. All these fancy phones, all these processed foods, the people who work there, if they went and did what they'd love, it would just fix the world. But I'm not here to save the world right now. We're talking about individual success. So, once you've got your what and what you want to do, why? Why? Question everything. Why? Why do I want it? Why do I want to sacrifice everything for that one thing? And when you know why, and you can 100% say why it is, and not have to think when you say it, you just say it and you mean it, you'll make it happen. Because the thing is, we're lying to ourselves every day. When we say we want something, like we all say, we'll, we'll go with music for this one. We all say we want to be a big rapper or a big producer or a big whatever else. But we don't. You know why? Because we're not. And we're not taking the steps. So we're all full of shit. But it's not our fault. Because we've been fed from an early age that you need to do it this way. In school, we weren't taught... In school, we weren't taught... Life. All we were taught is to follow direction. And do what the next man did. And copy his model. But that's not going to work. We're all different people. And we all live in a different way. We all have different ideas. We're just different. I was inspired for this video this morning. Because I saw um, a video about the first black billionaire in Wall Street. And he is from Southside Chicago. I don't know if you know about Southside Chicago. But especially at the moment. They kill for fun out there they kill for fun but then you got people from these shitty little council estates in the uk the most of the time it's just the danger is a couple of pricks stood on the corner mean mugging i don't know why they're doing that but that's another that's another thing completely so don't come with any excuses that you can't make it because of where you're from if anything you have the hunger more and you have the drive more because you've never had it. So don't bullshit yourself and others. Be real to yourself. And it's making the decision. In the back of your mind, you know whether or not you believe in yourself. And until you can 100% believe in yourself and not have that, you know, you get that side voice in your head that says, like, oh, I don't know, uh, uh, the, the, that's your subconscious mind. What I did was took myself away for about four months. I didn't speak to anybody i spoke to a few people that were important but anyone who wasn't i didn't feel like i basically any girl that i was talking to or dealing with or whatever cut 
anybody who wasn't a close friend that would back me 100%, <laughs> nothing to do with, I literally, where friends are concerned, I had one friend that I went to see for about four or five months, and before that, I was seeing everyone all the time. And I just noticed the differences. When I took myself away from people, and what their ideas were, and because people carry negative vibes, and they don't even know they do it. But like, even so much as like a little facial expression, like when you say what you believe in and what you want to do, even if you don't directly notice their facial expression in the moment, but they don't believe in you. And when you're around people that don't believe in you, it's not going to happen. I'm telling you. You need to be 100% committed in everything you do. Don't, don't get caught up in all the bullshit of stuff you feel like you need to do for other people. When you could just go 100% into your thing. Because we're selfish people. People need to be selfish. You know, you you don't have to be 100% selfish, but you need to put yourself first above everyone. And the only reason I say that is because they're doing the same thing. So don't be don't get caught being a sucker. Because people will make you into a sucker if you live your life for them. So live your life for you. Like, a few months ago, I had nothing. Absolutely, I was... I had no hope. I thought I did, but that's the thing. I thought I did. Now, every day I get a recurring income. I get money today from something I did yesterday and the day before and day before. And I might not have got the money on those days. And most people don't get money for the work they did on those days. And they're like, oh, no, it's not working. It's bullshit. But no, you, you don't understand. The people who are rich now are making money off all the work they did when they weren't getting money. And I think we all just need to change our mindsets and the way we think and the way we live because we're doing it wrong. Like I said, back in school we weren't taught how to invest our money and how to increase... Because the private schools where the people... People who've already got the money want to keep the money. They don't want us to have the money. So that kind of education is going into schools where people are paying. Which gives us a disadvantage from the start because we're from poor areas you know with middle class at best and at the moment that's disappearing it's just high and you know there's upper class and lower class the middle class is just shrinking but you need to be 100% dedicated in what you do and don't tell me or don't tell the world what you're going to do unless you fully 100% know you are going to because if you know you're going to you're going to because you know but don't be confused by what you think you want In comparison to what you really want. Does that make sense? Are you with me? Right. I might drop one more music related later on today. I'm going off for food with my family. But I uh, hope you can take something from this. I hope you... I hope... As soon as this video finishes. I hope you just fuck everything off. And start grinding to your goal. Because there's no second to waste. Right. Eskimo Cold. EskimoColdBeats.com. Peace.